Chairman, since this is an, is an exclusive list, um, and we did have quite uh, an interesting time with the previous nominee, with Justice LaSalle, who would have been an historic appointment uh, to the Court of Appeals. Are there any uh, Latino nominees on the current list? Through you, Mr. President, um, not that I am, am aware, no. Chairman, would you yield for one more question, please? With the sponsor yield. Yes. The sponsor yield. In that same regard, are there any nominees of Asian descent on this current list? Through you, Mr. President, not that I am aware. Thank you, Chairman. On the bill, please, Mr. President. Senator Palumbo, on the bill. So, Mr. President, I do appreciate the fact that uh, this might possibly streamline the process because uh, we have been operating with six judges, but we've survived. And this is something that is now trying to statutorily prescribe some very abrupt changes during a very difficult budget negotiation process, but abrupt changes to our Constitution. We just saw this movie, and it didn't end well that we're manipulating the process for what I think are reasons that are untoward. That this is some sort of a deal that has to do with possibly picking two judges from one list. But let's think about, let's slow down and actually try to follow the Constitution one more time. It proscribes specifically, I'll read the highlights. I need my glasses for this, I'm getting old. The governor shall appoint from among those recommended by the judicial nominating commission a person to fill the office of chief, chief judge or associate judge whenever a vacancy occurs in the Court of Appeals. We don't have two vacancies right now. We have one. And if by chance we get another one, that occurs upon confirmation of a sitting associate judge to now become the chief judge. This list was created long before that confirmation process because that's going to happen sometime in the future. So, I understand this may have been a program bill. I don't like it. I don't like the way it smells. And quite frankly, it is 100% unconstitutional. This is an exclusive list. The governor's prescribed to pick from seven, and now she'll be reduced down to four in the event she picks a sitting judge, or can go with a whole additional seven. So now it's a pool of 11 instead of a pool of seven as the Constitution dictates. So, Mr. President, I, uh, I, I am very concerned about the reasons for this bill coming to the floor at this point, but I will be voting no, and I urge my colleagues to do the same. Thank you.